All right, so I've been doing a bunch of videos of all the teardown and rebuilds of everything here, and this is the end product. I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the engine, because um, I personally like to see pictures and videos of other people's engines to see how things went together or uh, how they did certain things. Uh, and for reference, sometimes if I can't figure something out, I'll, I'll start looking at pictures and see how they did it. So I'll do the same for all of you. Uh, so this is a GMC 228. Uh, we've got the oil filter on the passenger side. This is the one that came with the truck, at least when I got it. I believe it's a factory one. Uh, it bolts onto the outside of the valve cover, uh, push rod cover there. Uh, I put a, a bunch of nice uh, stainless button head bolts there. And my distributor rebuilt, got a new cap and rotor. Uh, I've got a Protronics chip, uh, a digital ignition in there, Protronics coil. Um, I don't have my filler tube on yet. I was making a new breather for it, uh, but that's where the filler tube goes. Um, vacuum advance, starter, uh, main starting wire, that's the starter linkage with the pullback spring, got my fuel pump, uh, double action. Uh, I was using a stainless hose, a uh, stainless tube here, but uh, it was for the single action pump, none of which would work on this truck for some reason, I don't know why, so I put the double action back on and I didn't want to go and bend my stainless all over again, so I just did a just did a hose. Um, got the radiator, got the wiring harness still in progress here. Um, radiator has a couple pads there, and then it's got the spring-mounted bolts. Uh, what else? Uh, so I got a I got a cool. Uh, glass fuel filter which was very handy uh, you could see the fuel moving it was very useful when my brand new fuel pumps weren't pumping uh, but that's nice found it on ebay original style zenith carburetor intake manifold got my fenton headers uh, the manifold warming tubes i converted to an alternator uh, that started up and ran well you got to use a DA plug, they call it. Um, it has to do with the way the ignition's wired, and if you turn turn the truck off, the alternator still produces enough current to power the coil, so this is to prevent that from, from continuing to run when you shut it off. Um, wiper lines, I got a new Speedo cable because like a dope, my... <laughs> I left the old one resting on the exhaust pipe when I started it and it melted itself. Um, oh, and what I did for wiring, to make it look a little original, I left the voltage regulator on, which I don't need because the alternator is internally regulated. I'm more or less using it as a junction box. Um, so for switching the to the alternator, um, basically uh, this is the battery power that goes up through the uh, ammeter and basically what you want to do is take this wire and attach it directly to the alternator now it doesn't reach but the uh, field uh, the ammeter hang on what's it called one of the wires coming off the generator all I did was move it over here it's supposed to be in the middle I moved it over here and it just goes down to here and I use that as my power. It's a thick gauge, so it's sufficient. And then, uh, oh, I gotta tie that back so it doesn't touch the headers. And then we got the field coil and the ground wire from the generator, which we don't need anymore, so I'm gonna tie those up. And I still leave them connected up here, um, mostly just for the look. If I ever wanna go back to a generator, or if someone else wants to go back, all the wires are there, you just have to switch them around. Uh, got my little k and filter there that fits nicely. Um, steering box, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I did the video on the um, putting a modern drag link in there. I, you can find that on my channel. But yeah, there it is. There is my completed engine. Starts up and runs great. Um, 
put the transmission in today and I got a little body work to finish but it's getting there oh temperature probe so this has a mechanical temperature probe instead of the electronic one um, that this piece here is needed uh, it's a regular plumbing piece forget what it's called I'll post it in the comments um, you have to ream it out or drill it out to get the probe to fit through. The probe goes all the way through down into the block and it has a, a shouldered uh, seal that this nut pushes down against in here. Um, and I, I was able to get it from the hardware store. I think the Chevys use a different one. But, um, but yeah, it's like an FIP to pipe thread or something. But yeah. There it is. Can't wait to drive it any day now. Take care, everyone.